Hi, this is Keith, and I want to talk to you about a builder's tip that you may not have been told about or thought about, and that's a measurement we call free gap. When we're building engines, we check piston to wall, bearing clearances, we check everything. But one thing that's commonly not checked is the free gap on the ring. After you file fitted your ring ends, measure the open gap on your piston ring and record this number. This is a great way to tell how the rings are holding up in your engine. For discussion's sake, we'll say that this has 500,000 gap. After it's been running the engine and everything's a normally operating piece, we're going to expect it to close down maybe 80 thousandths, 100 thousandths. So it might start out at 500, could end up at 420, coming out maybe 400 thousandths free gap. That's very normal. But if I put it in at 500 and it comes out with 100, 150, we've got a problem. We've either got a tuning issue where we've overheated the ring or a ring base material, whether that be cast iron, ductile iron, stainless or tool steel that's just not good enough for what we're doing and we need to look at putting a better material in or again addressing the tune-up why did the ring collapse so that's a handy way to test and to tell the tuning on your engine is by looking at the free gap it should always close up a little bit but only a little never a lot